Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Am I still bullish? Yes, I'm still bullish. I will stay bullish in Bitcoin for a very long time because I'm about zooming out. But now, we are going to check some really cool charts today so you can enjoy the weekend fully as to the Zen type of style. So, yeah, let's jump into the chart. Here, first one. This is the Bam Bam indicator. I'm going to explain one more time because people are asking. It will take one minute. Guys, how does it work? It works really simple. You wait for a long flag. You wait for a candle closing above the yellow stepping line. You wait for the bam bam crossing that gray line, the blue line, that gray line to the upside. And the gray line needs to point upwards, not downwards. And then on the bottom, you need a lot of green. And you need the green line on top. That's a quadruple confirmation. A quadruple confirmation is a definitive long. And if you would have taken that long over there, you would have stopped the long at that short moment over there which would be a 5% long without leverage, 5% profit without leverage. That's how simple it works. Bam Bam Indicator. And um, if you want to know more about the Bam Bam Indicator, you go to the bitcoinfamily.com. You will find all the products, the indicator packages, also the liquidity provider uh, package of the family tokens, because if you provide liquidity, you earn rewards. It's in total monthly, I think, 40,000 rewards. So that's a shitload of rewards you can get just by staking your family token. And then you get also voting powers in the DAO. If you look at this chart, this is the four hour chart as well. I, I drew this like a couple of weeks ago. I told you guys low, higher low, again a higher low. Um, the falling wedges, you know, uh, we are breaking out here and retested it like i drew two days ago the yellow line i said that is how we all go and we are following that line we went out we broke out we're coming down and we're going slowly up really positive chart the chart that i find most interesting is the weekly chart that is the chart i want to talk about a little bit because that is the chart i think you should be focusing on as we need to zoom out if you look at the bigger perspective of bitcoin then we can see a low over here in the weekly a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and we need to form a new higher high, 70 to 80K, something like that. Now, also on this chart, you can see that Bam Bam indicator. The Bam Bam indicator told us to long over there, to short over there, to long over there, to short over there, and we are waiting to long. If we look when it will be a long, then we can always take a look at for example the time like this long to that short was around 24 bars 24 weeks and from the short flag to this long flag was 14 weeks so there's 24 plus 14 is 38 and then we have from this long Let's see an average to this short was 18, um, 18 weeks. So that's an average around 18 weeks to get the next signal. So if we are going to look at the 18 weeks, we are now at week uh, 9. So it could take to, if it will be 14 weeks, it will take to 14 of February. If it will be 18 weeks, the average it will be in March that we see the long flag. So that is how I play the weekly chart. The positive part on the weekly chart is this one over here. Look, the NVT, that one turns gray, which is like not good. Every time when it turns gray, look over here, that was a huge drop. You can hear the war zone airplanes coming over. It's a drop of 55%. This time we turn gray, but we directly turned red again. Same like here. So the question now is, are we going to turn red again like now? And then again gray, so we have the rest of the drop. That is what I'm um, 
looking very sharply on because if you look at the last movement exactly from there we turned gray till there we turned red again that was a 15 percent drop then we became red again and then another time we became red to gray and the second time we went from red to gray that was the big 50 percent drop so i hope that we are not going to repeat that scenario but that we are going to up uh, up just from here again to that new higher high around 70k 80k now do i have more charts yes i found this tweet a few days ago i made a case of 40k would be the new 30k for bitcoin based on the rising intrinsic value of the s curve model he just came across an indicator that further suggests the dormancy flow this is really cool it was durian twit timmers um, i'm going to jump into this chart over bam here because it's a little bit bigger it's not completely sharp i don't know i couldn't find a 4k resolution image of it but this one will do it so if you look at the s curve model that's the pinkish purplish line and um, that is the model where we bottom out every time a little bit a little bit below maybe but we bottom around that so that was the 30k level now we are uh, the sk model uh, the, the s curve model is now at 40k so that would should be the bottom and um, he is now saying and i saw the dormancy flow this is the one that you see on the bottom over here and that one is also indicating we are at the bottom the s curve model says we are at the bottom the dormancy flow says every time we get in that green area we are at the bottom so we should be at the bottom at the moment so that's two models combined telling us at the moment we are at the bottom and we should turn up again and that is exactly what i think that bitcoin is going to do i think we could go a little bit more sideways like 40k to 45k 43k for but we will go up again from this i think we are now seeing a bottom that will be there um, but in the after but in the end we will have this huge bull run again up to that new uh, high and i think that high will be around 70k i had a i really had a dream this night i have a strange dream i woke up like the the, the the green candle of bitcoin went like 30k 40k 50k 60k 70k 80k and then it stopped and then i woke up and i'm like wow what 80k i checked my telephone of course it was not 80k so it was a dream um but you know what they say dreams are made to become true guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam